All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of Mr. Criminal interviewing Icon about do no and how come we don't get no love in the rap game. How we means Chicanos. But check this out. Before we get into this video, if you guys are new to the Hater World, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys like what I'm doing or whether you don't. And salute to all the day ones. Salute to all the subscribers. You guys already know nothing but love. But check this out. This video was sent to my Instagram at the Hater World. So if you don't follow me, make sure you do so. Also hit me up on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at the Hater World. And catch all the Southside Stories episodes on Rumble. Also at the Hater World. Check this out. Hit up the website one time for your mind at www.thehaterworld.com. Go support, buy some merch, show some love. But other than that, we got this video of Mr. Criminal interviewing a uh, legendary uh, icon, asking them why the homies get no love in hip hop, right? Why we never get respected, why we don't get no love, why we don't get no shout outs, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm going to do in this video is get you guys a Southsiders reaction. So with no further ado, let's get it. Now, with that being said, I want to highlight something that, that bothers me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, I'm, I'm going to hold homies and anybody with brown skin accountable. And I think this is fucked up. All right, check this out. Before we press play and watch the rest of the video, Mr. Criminal said he's going to hold homies accountable. People with brown skin. That means including me. That means including him. Okay? Just to be on the same page. Now let's go. And I, and I see this and I get a little pissed and I'm going to put motherfuckers in the hot seat. And I don't mean you, homie, because right, I, don't see, I don't see this coming from you. But I do see a lot of other podcasters and people with a platform a platform that could give us some love that never do. And it pisses me off. So the other day I was seeing King Little G was on Community, right? I didn't watch that, but yeah, I think so I seen something I about that. I skimmed through it real quick because they were telling me like always, I'm not even going to lie. Call it narcissistic, whatever, but I never seen hood stocks in my life until they told me they mentioned my name, so I just... Check this out. He said that he saw King Little G on, on a Community the other day. It was actually Ace Boys, right? And the reason he brought it up is because another podcaster that goes by FKM mentioned it and said that uh, Pun was giving no love to King Little G. Let me comment on that real quick. If Pun was giving no love to King Lil G, then why in the fuck was King Lil G up there? See, the problem is that King Lil G was invited up there, right? And he's up there because Pun invited him, right? And now you got podcasters and everybody else speaking about it. That makes Pun, that makes No Jumper, that makes all these podcasts no longer want to fuck with us. Because of all the outside noise, instead of being grateful or happy or congratulating or whatever that the homie King Lil G was up there. Instead, we got to nitpick at shit. Oh, he was up there, but they said this. Oh, he was up there, but man, you know what? We ain't inviting these fools on no more because every time we do, somebody's crying. That's what I got from that. Now, take it how you want, but let's go. That I see what she was talking about. I get it. They were saying I was they, they shouted me out on the community, so I checked it out. But one thing I do notice is they'll get props our own people don't ever want to give props. They take the they take the shortcut and they take the route to exit out. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up an, a specific situation and this And he also said that he had never heard about Hoodstocks until they mentioned his name. Now I'll tell you this, I'm not gonna lie. I also had never heard of Hoodstocks until people started bringing it up in the chat. Uh, probably last year when I started and I went over to watch it. And ever since I've been going and showing love every time that I can American Cholo hood stocks, uh, everybody that I can, I show love to, you know, uh, only because I feel that I have to, you know, I, I I'm part of the game. I want them to know that I'm here for whatever they need. So I've, I, I have shown love now has Mr. Criminal show love to hood stocks since he wants to hold people accountable. I don't know. You guys let me know down below in the comments, all right? But let's keep going. Something that's been happening for years, homie, like, they'll ask on these podcasts, what about this, what about this, and motherfuckers duck the question. So I, I don't know when it was, but someone tagged me, me in it, and it was uh, Duno, a white dude, and AD, and they were sitting on the couch. 
All right. And it still had the No Jumper logo because it must have been a couple months ago. But they were asking them, who's the top rappers of all time, right? And there were Eminem, the, the, all the, you know. Tupac, my boy. Tupac. And Chalino. Let's go. The, the usuals. And then somebody, the white boy in the middle was like, yo, Duno, what do you think about, you know, Hispanic rappers? And AD was emphasizing it. He kind of like brushed it off. And he's like, yeah, well, if anybody was popping while I was in high school, it was like King Little G-Fool and he might have said what it did. But he's like, but I listen to Mac Miller, homie, you know? And it's like, the dude looked at him like he was like, what? <clears throat> like, he's like, you smoke weed? And he's like, no, I don't smoke weed, but I, that's what I was listening to. And it was just like, to me, that's a dismissal. I don't like this at all. A dismissal, why? Because they didn't mention your name? Listen. People grow up on different shit. If you guys recall back to the video where I had Misfit up here, I asked him his five top artists. And you know what he said? A bunch of people that I don't know who the fuck they are. I was expecting Tupac, Biggie, you know, DMX. He said a bunch of underground rappers. Why? Because he grew up on that. He even said it himself. I didn't grow up on Tupac. You can't be mad. I guarantee you Duno is probably like 20. He don't know about no criminal. He don't know about no torpedoes. He don't know about no uh, uh, Spanish fly. He don't know about no fucking uh, Mr. Shadow, Night Owl, Little One, Royalty, Mr. D, Southland. I bet you he don't know about fucking uh, Conejo, uh, 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 Tattoo Inc., Soldier Inc., Grumpy Loco. I bet you he don't know about them people. What the fuck? Man, imagine somebody knowing about the torpedoes. Like... You can't crucify a motherfucker. Maybe they just don't know. Right? But let's go. That's that's some fucking punk shit. Like, I'm not going to call the homie punk, but that action, we need to take more responsibility. We need to be more proud of our people. Like, he could have used that platform and been like, fuck yeah, King Little G, we got homies out here with brown skin rapping. We got drummer boy. We got a campaign. There used to be a group named campaign that spit like a motherfucker that could outspit half these blacks out here. Like, where's the pride? You know what I'm saying? So I Check it out. What if he just don't like Chicano rap? What if he just doesn't like Chicano rap at all? That could be one thing, right? I don't like Chicano rap. I ain't going to mention it. How about number two? I ain't going to shout nobody out because ain't nobody shout me out. And y'all can say, you motherfuckers can say, oh, that's crabs in the bucket mentality. It is. It fucking is. But when have you heard one of these big artists ever give a little platform any love? When? When have you ever seen... A big artist. Let me tell you guys like this, all right? Now that I got a platform, even though I used to have a platform back 10 years ago, I never really used the platform how I should have. So the platform went to shit, right? But I had a big platform before, right? I never used it. I was just like, I was not even there. I was the man behind the scenes. But now that I got a platform, everybody wants to be cool with me. From A to Z. Why? Because they see that they can use this shit for their advantage. And I'm not calling anybody out. Trust me, I'm not. If I want to say a fucking name, I'll say it. And, I, and I'm grateful that the people that are reaching out are showing number of fucking love, especially the legends. Salute. Right? But I see right through all that shit. A lot of motherfuckers are reaching out only because I have a fucking platform with all right numbers. But I guarantee you, if I was down at the bottom with a thousand, two thousand subscribers, ain't no criminal showing no fucking love to me. But if I get put on No Jumper tomorrow, I'm, I got to show love. But if I get put on, on Vlad TV, I got to show love. Fuck that. And I guarantee you that's how a lot of homies feel. I guarantee you that's a lot how a lot of homies feel. You know. But I also understand the part of I've put in the work to be where I'm at right now. And I'm really nowhere. But, you know, I got a nice number and people come over here and fuck with us. I've put in that work. So now the artists that have also put in work see me putting in work and say, you know what? I could fuck with that guy because he also put in work. Cool. You, you, We both meet with, you know, agendas where we're grinding. I understand that part. I get it. So you got to look at shit from the entire spectrum and not just look at it from like, oh, he didn't mention my name, so I'm going to be in my feelings and, and call call him this or call him that. Like, nah, nah. You got to understand that Duno is up there. First of all, he's young as fuck. Second of all, he probably don't like Chicano rap. Third of all, he probably never fucking heard it. But let's go.
like us as people in a community that's why i'm doing my podcast because it's like nobody gives us our props nobody does it right it's like we have to have our own shit. these motherfuckers take our screenshots and take shit talk about <laughs> blue face gets robbed for a chain and use my picture with my homies from my neighborhood in the park and get a million <laughs> million fucking views Jesse, i'm tired of hearing all the everybody fucking cry about the morenos don't give us no love you know the blacks don't give us no love they don't gotta give us fucking shit why the fuck do you guys or anybody or we, uh, I'm not going to say me because I'm not like that, but how come everybody's always wanting recognition from the brown homies, from the black homies? I got none, nothing but love for AD, Trail, uh, uh, all these dudes that I've never fucking met because I see the grind. I see what they're doing. I see they got it out of the mud. I respect that shit all day long. I don't see it as color. So why the fuck is everybody always worried about, you know, they don't give us love on this platform or that Make your own shit. Make your own shit. I woke up one day and said, I'm going to make my own shit. And I made my own shit. I don't give a fuck if, if, the, if the love is not, is not shown back to me. It is what it is. I'm going to just keep being genuine the way that I am. And I'm, I'm going to show love and reach out. If they, if they don't do the same, fuck it. It is what it is. But I'm still on the path to where I'm going. But everybody's so caught up. And this was the problem back in. And this always been the problem. Oh, we, they don't show us love on the radio. You know, the, the 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 black homies don't support. This is why I tell everybody in the comments, you guys got to fucking show love even if you don't like the motherfucker. You know, even if you don't like the... Because of this shit. You know, there's a lot of homies out here expecting love from the big platforms or wanting or thinking that they're supposed to get validated by big platforms or black homies or rappers when you don't need none of that shit. You don't need nobody but yourself. All everything else is a fucking excuse. Let's go. The Swifty uh, Blue Cat and, and talk hilarious. about uh, Blueface. So my whole point is this. There's no disrespect to none of them. Whoever's doing it, it's, I don't even think Swifty Blue knew that. It's whoever's clipping shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my whole point is people want to highlight the bad. Nobody ever wants to highlight the good. What do you think it's going to take? Being now that you're in a position of power over there and you have a voice. Everybody wants to highlight the bad but not the good. Let me explain some something to every motherfucker out there. I said it today on my podcast and I'll say it again. People don't give a fuck of you donating money or giving pizza to the homeless. They want to see a motherfucker getting his head kicked in. They want to see a motherfucker getting pantsed. They want to see a motherfucker getting slapped. They want to see a motherfucker talking shit. That's what the fuck they want to see. They want to see the hater world run his fucking mouth. That's what they want to see. They don't want to see everybody being friendly and friends and, hey, let's go sing a song and, and be cool together. Listen, I'm, I'm all for the peace because I'm at a point in my life where I just want to chill. But I also know what the, what the people want to see. You know, if it was for me, we'd all be fucking cool. But the point of the matter is that people would rather see bullshit. And when you understand that, you can't build a business on love because ain't nobody going to watch. Ain't nobody going to see. You're only going to get so many fucking views and it's over. That's why when I did my podcast, I do my podcast now, I decide to keep it as real as fuck. Not giving a fuck whose feelings are hurt. I don't disrespect nobody. I keep it real. And if they feel disrespected, that's, that's their fucking problem. Because I don't, I don't pick nobody out and say, oh, this guy, this guy. I might sometimes, but it's for a reason. Most of the time, 99% of the time, I speak in general, and people will raise their hand and say, he's talking about me. Well, that's your fucking problem. Now, let's go. So What's it going to take, homie? And in defense of Duno, because that is my little homie, he's yeah. actually the person that put me in position over there. I, know yeah. Jeff, I mean, he didn't give me my job over there or anything, but he took me up there, and yeah. they liked whatever the bullshit I was talking, whatever, yeah. what have you. Uh, he's a little kid, fool. So he's like, what, 22, 23? So maybe he don't know any better. He didn't Fact, face the same it. struggles and and uh, tribulations that we went Fact, through, trying to come that. up, trying to break through, trying to break through the ceiling note. And maybe he really only listened to Mac Miller. Fact. Maybe he only was a, a, a aware of King Little G mm -hmm. and Drummer or what have you. Could he have said more? Absolutely. Yeah, you know what I'm could. saying? But at that same... in that But why, though? Nobody owes nobody a goddamn fucking thing on this planet. Nobody owes us nothing. Like, why does anybody feel entitled to have a voice when nobody is owed anything? And everybody can say, oh, it's just the fact that he's doing the Rasa a favor. 
listen, I understand. I get it. If you want me to get it, I get it. But I don't get it. You know, listen, Mr. Criminal is not, is not, uh, it's not his job to mention me. It's not his job to mention this guy. It's not. And nobody should feel like it is. You know, now, if somebody wants to mention you because they feel that you've put in the work, salute. But nobody's entitled to anything. Now, let's go. Sentence, I'm going to say that maybe he was just being true to himself. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really think anything of it. He wasn't seen beyond. I see that. As far as me and my position, I, I my podcast, The Sauce, which is barely starting to percolate or whatever, barely starting off, nowhere near this or no jump or anything, just starting off with me and my homie Smoke. Uh, we're focusing primarily on brown homies. Yeah. Well, good luck with that, my boy. Good luck with that. Trust me when I tell you, Chicano rap don't sell. And when I mean it don't sell, yeah, it might sell for Criminal King Lil G and the big top dogs. But for the little guys, good luck. Listen, Chicano rap, Fans are the worstest motherfuckers on the planet. They're the most gangsterist. They're the most craziest. They're everything in between, right? They don't show love. They don't support. They don't buy merch. None of that shit. Uh, you think that all the people that buy merch, you put it to you like this. The, the Say King Lil G, all the merch he sells. You think it goes to like cholo dudes? Fuck no, it don't. You think gangsters like, 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 uh, like your uh, typical... Typical hood gang motherfucker from the 80s, 90s buys that shit? Fuck no. Yeah, you might have a few, but you know who buys it? Young kids. Kids that are into that style now. Kids that fuck with 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 it with his with his uh with his, you know, with his shit. Uh the ones that are in our age bracket, my age bracket, criminals age bracket, they don't buy a goddamn thing. All they do is run their mouth on the internet and talk shit. And those, my boy, are facts. Uh, but did you notice how Icon said Criminal said, now that you're at No Jumper, how are you going to help out? You know what Criminal uh, Icon said? My podcast, The Sauce. Because he's not allowed to be on No Jumper talking about Chicano rap. I guarantee you that Adam probably told him, look, we can only speak about certain individuals, certain topics. Do not be giving away free clout. Facts. Let's go. Specifically, because that's what I'm well-versed in. I've shot every fucking homie except for you and Capone, the only people I haven't filmed. Yeah. Frost, Little Rob, fucking everyone. Yeah. Literally, everyone. Hell yeah. All right, so he shot everybody except for Capone and, and the criminal. Let's see Let's see if those two homies right there uh, ask for a video from Icon. Let's see if Icon can sit up there and do a video for both these homies. Let's see. Because supposedly we all supposed to hold hands. Let's see if that's possible. Let's go. I mean, that's what I know, you know what I'm saying? And when I'm up there, I know Jumper, I have no problem talking about our brown skin and what we do or making little jokes when everyone, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. people make little punchlines. You can't, you're not going to sit up there and have a whole segment about fucking uh, Little Rob. It's not going to happen. But you are going to throw little punches in there when, when, when you can. When Listen, No Jumper is a platform that listens to fucking hip-hop music, not Chicano rap. First of all, even if you were to sit up there and do a whole segment on criminal, it probably is not going to do no numbers. I'll tell you like this. Go watch the YB video. Shout out to my boy YB. Go watch his video. It got 30,000 views. It's been stuck at 30,000 for since he dropped it. And that shit was six months ago. Why? Because that fan base isn't aligned with the fan base that we got. That's why. And I go back to this. I had a, a China Mac episode. It did 7,000 views the fuck what kind of numbers are those but i do a little king Lil g video it did fifty thousand views you know why because the fan base over here is chicano rap they don't know about china mac so the fan base that's watching no jumper they don't know fucking little rob and conejo they know they know about all these young guys money bag yo uh little uzi they know about those people so you probably won't even get the views anyways but two pe people are too stupid to re read or pay attention to the analytics facts fucking facts let's go so jokes i'm down to joke back i have no problem i'm very yeah. slick you know oh, what i'm yeah. saying i have no problem talking shit neither so um I don't know. It's just a generational thing. I think the younger generations just don't know what it is, G. You know I, what I'm saying? I agree to that. And that's what I was about to highlight. And I didn't want to cut you off, but you were saying the little homie's a youngster. Yeah. Maybe he don't know. Well, then it's it's, it's, it's for all people to like that to put him on in, homie. So little. Put him on to what, though? The torpedoes? 
fuck you mean? Like, why the fuck would you want to introduce that type of music to homies that, that, are, that are coming up right now? Imagine Duno, right? Since, since we're talking about him. He doesn't know about, like I said, Mr. Little One every Saturday. Mr. Little One, uh, uh, Voices. Mr. Little One, Hollow Point. Bro, if you were to tell him to listen to that music, he'd probably be like, what the fuck is this garbage? Facts. It's not garbage to us because that music, we grew up with it. We love it. But they're going to look at it like, this is bullshit. And instead of trying to throw this old ass music to the young homies, why don't you reinvent yourself and say, you know, what? look, I'll put you like this. And I keep saying his fucking name because it's true. Drummer Boy reinvented himself. King Little G reinvented himself. Uh, 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 there's a few homies. It looks like criminals reinventing himself. Uh, uh, you know, there's a bunch of homies that are reinventing their brand, their style, their look, their music, and it's hitting. And people are no longer uh, attaching them to their old shit. That, that's what we need to do. We need to reinvent Chicano rap the way that it is now. You know, we need to bring better music to the forefront. And we need to stop living off of, oh, they owe us this. They owe us that. They need to mention us. We need to school them about the past. Fuck the past. That shit ain't get us nowhere back then. It ain't going to get us nowhere now. But let's go. You know, the little homie from the area, you know, I tapped in with you before. It's all love. I mean this with nothing but love. I send this message oh, yeah, with love you and respect. Oh, yeah, from the same area, yeah, too. Yeah, homie, no you know bullshit. what I'm saying? It's like, I don't feel like people. Yeah, and it's like motherfuckers do everything they can. But then I got a room full of crips that'll be like, shout out to Mr. Criminal. Real nigga They're older. There. They're Come older. Come on, homies. You know They're much saying? older, though, nah, facts. I got Zoe Osama tapping in. I got one of the hottest cats out here. They got a, one of the biggest songs out here. That dance track that's cracking from all on TikTok. How old is Zoe Osama? I, I really don't know. If they're tapping in, it's because they saw you from today. I bet you didn't see your music from 2003. They saw your music from 2017. And that's the new Mr. Criminal. And you seeing that works, that's the way it should continue to go. So look, I'm going to just kill this video we're laying, call it a day. I hope none of the, nobody takes this shit as disrespect. I hope nobody starts crying. I hope nobody makes all this fucking drama and bullshit. I hope motherfuckers take this as cri a constructive criticism and, and, and try to figure shit out. Nobody owes us shit. Nobody needs to give us a shout out. Nobody needs to approve of anything. We all got voices. We all got computers. We all got, you know, this. We can all figure it out, you know. And uh, all this singing kumbaya, it's all good. But if a motherfucker is showing love, hopefully you can show that love back. Because the minute that somebody shows love and, you know, the bigger artist feels like, oh, I can't hear that. What are they talking about? Who? What? Who? Later, don't be crying about, oh, they don't show love to me. Now you know why. Now you fucking know why. But check this out. Shout out to Mr. Criminal. Shout out to Icon. I always want to call him Icon Photography. That shit is stuck in the back of my fucking head. That's how I know him. I don't know him as LA Icon. Uh, shout out to everybody putting it, putting in the work. Shout out to everybody that has reinvented their brands and brought them shit to the forefront. Shout out to everybody grinding, putting in work. Everybody that was mentioned, shout out. A do no salute. And other than that, I'm going to kill this video. We're laying call it a day. Once again, I'm Blue Devil. It's been a Hater World production. And we out.